We're here at the Portland International Auto Show. It's very quiet, but that's because it's currently 6.20 in the morning and the whole team got up at 3.30 to get here so that we could film before the crowds arrived. And I'm here with the Ford F-150 Lightning, specifically the F-150 Lightning XLT. Let's check it out. We're gonna have a quick tour of the vehicle. And no, I'm not allowed to drive it. Sadness. Like the Ford Mustang Mark E, which is Ford's other electric vehicle, the charge port door sits ahead of the A pillar on the driver's side. You've got AC and DC charging capabilities as standard. However, how quickly the vehicle will charge on AC power is determined by whether you have a standard range or an extended range battery pack. The extended range pack actually has twin AC chargers on board, whereas the standard range only has one. Additionally, while both the extended and standard range versions of the F-150 Lightning are capable of charging at up to 150 kilowatts on the road from a DC quick charge station, you can actually charge a little bit more quickly using the F-150 Lightning extended range. That's because the F-150 Lightning extended range has a larger battery pack and because of the physics of how batteries work, it can charge to 80% a little bit more quickly than the standard range. And of course, you do get more range with the extended range when you compare it to the standard range. Aside from that charge port front and center on the front wing, there's a dummy one on the other side. The rest of the F-150 Lightning looks pretty standard. It's not gonna stand out much in the crowd. It's even got the same keypad combination so that if you want to leave your keys behind, you can gain access to the vehicle using the keypad start your vehicle and drive off. If you've ever spent any time behind the wheel of the F-150, the interior of the F-150 Lightning is very familiar. Now, this being an XLT gets the landscape touchscreen display that is found on the lower trim models. If you opt for the Lariat or higher, you'll gain access to the same portrait display that's found in the Mustang Mark E. Even with this display though, it's still very impressive. There's a lot of screen real estate, more than there is in my car. One of the big features of the F-150 Lightning across the board is the workspace that's been made available inside the truck. Now this is a standard feature on all current model year F-150s, whether they are the Lightning or whether they're the hybrid or whether they're just the regular gasoline version. You press this button next to the gear shifter. The gear shifter moves down and then you have a work table available. Now, I don't believe that this fold out workspace is available in the entry level pro version. But XLT and up, you get this lovely workspace. You can put a laptop, edit video on the road, eat your lunch, or just have a space to put stuff. The number of times where I've been trying to film outside in cold weather, and I just wanted a space to work on a camera or something like that, it's gonna be pretty invaluable. And yes, disclaimer, we have ordered one of these. We're waiting for our F-150 Lightning order to be fulfilled. We actually ordered the F-150 Lariat, which is the next trim level up from this, but it will have this rather silly, but also incredibly nifty feature. There's also storage space down here, absolutely cavernous, where you can store all of your valuables out of sight. You can also get this as an optional lockable storage area if you are somebody who likes to carry things that might easily get stolen or things that might be dangerous like guns you could have a lockable storage area there but that's an optional extra up front you've got an ac power socket here that's capable of pitching out not 15 amps like your standard household outlet but 20 amps you also have 12 volts here you have other power outlets for the rear of the truck but then you also have some in the bed and you also have some up front in the super mega hyper power front or whatever they call it. Everything else feels very standard for your regular Ford F-150 pickup. Higher trim versions have adjustable pedals. 
power adjustable seats. It's cloth in this version, it's leather in the higher trims, but it feels very familiar. I've spent some time behind the wheel of gasoline F-150s and it doesn't feel out of place. Everything is within easy reach. And my favorite one is that extra cubby hole right there. As I said earlier, there is power in the rear for rear seat passengers, but there's also a lot of space, both for passengers and or cargo. You can actually fold the rear seats up, which is great if you want to carry something that is tall, but you don't want to put in the back of the truck. But if you pull this lever, you can fold the seats back down and then you literally have a huge amount of space. I'm five foot eight. The front seat is where I would normally be sat. And I've literally got huge amounts of space just to put my feet out, even in the middle. I've still got plenty of room and you can comfortably get three medium sized adults in the back without any problems at all. There's plenty of headroom and I don't feel cramped. The F-150 Lightning wouldn't be a pickup without a pickup bed. And that's what you have here. This is a standard crew cab pickup bed length. Obviously you can extend it by putting the tailgate down and like the rest of Ford's F-150 family, you have this handy dandy collapsible stand that allows you to get in to the back of the truck if you need to. To put it away, you slide that down, you fold that away, you put the step away, and off you go. Importantly, if you have the higher end version of this truck, it has a power lower and power raise feature. But the thing everybody wants to see are the power sockets there. In the standard range version of the F-150 Lightning, you get seven kilowatts of pro power output. On the higher range, longer range variants, you get up to 9.7 kilowatts of pro power off-board power. There are a huge number of selling points to this truck. Obviously the pro power on board, the ability to power your home in an emergency if you have the appropriate charging infrastructure at your house. But then of course there's this, the mega hyper power frunk. It is huge. It's bigger than the trunk of my Chevrolet Bolt EV and it's power lift. So it lifts up and lifts down on its own. This is a show truck, so we didn't actually get it to power lift up because the truck is turned off, but you do get to see just how huge this front trunk is. And I'll jump down and show you the signature lights in one second. And of course, back to the front for the end of our tour. Because this is an XLT, it does have this signature light strip. It also has the signature light strip in the tailgate. But if you have a pro version, you don't get this. It looks much more like a regular F-150. So there you have it. That's the F-150 Lightning. I don't know if this is coming to New Zealand yet, but there are some really cool utes on the way, including one that Gavin recently drove. So check out the link below from LDV. He had a great time. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back soon with more great content. But until then, kakite, take care.